Well then folks, welcome along to another episode here on Oakfield Farm. Uh, you join me on the one of the open cast minefields here as we've got all the bales kind of stacked in the corner of the field now. Uh, this is our first load that we're going to take away. Uh, as you can see I've just finished getting everything kind of strapped down. Uh, now this one is going just down the road to the new straw plant. There's been a lot of change down there since you were last there. So we're going to take you down there and kind of just show you what up. Barry went ahead, he is in uh, the Manitou, so he's kept everything kind of up and away down there, which is great news. Uh, we're going to take this down now, but before we do anything, let's just make sure we have all of our lights on, because we do have quite a wide load here. Uh, let's see, are we all flashing away? Yes, we are. Lovely stuff, we'll see us coming a mile away. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to jump back in, and now we're going to get ourselves off and away here. Uh, this is a little bit of a little bit of a narrow road, uh, gateway is fine, but the road itself leaves a little bit to be desired. So with that in mind now, we're just going to slowly take our way down. If we meet anything coming here, we want to be able to stop. You can see on the distance that we have the headlands and a little bit knocked off a field of wheat over there. We're going to go and tackle that after we've finished here. The John Deere is already in the field there. Um, and I actually parked the 6250 with a trailer just around the corner from, well, where we're going actually right now. So we're going to unload this, leave the truck here, and then we're going to head off as well. So, uh, plenty to do. Uh, we are, it's probably going to take us about another three loads to clear this field of straw that we've just left. Uh, well, we're keeping all that straw, it's going to go straight into our, uh, into our heating plant. Uh, which is installed, which is fantastic news, it's all in place where it should be. So we're really, really progressing nicely with that actually. Uh, we'll give you a bit of a tour around, you can see the uh, building roof through the trees there quite a big storage uh, point we've got which is fantastic I'm very excited by that uh, the electricity board have been in they haven't finished but they've made a good old start so I think from my understanding all they've got left to do really is connect a few uh, electricity pylons and then we we should have power over there but more importantly we're gonna have the function to sell back into the grid which is what you want this this little uh, junction here is a nightmare with all these roadsides on each side. Ooh, let's just stop there. With these roadsides on left and right there, it makes swinging out with a 40 foot flatbed pretty difficult. Especially when you can't really see a great deal. So we have to slowly. We're backing ourselves, we're going for it. We don't want to go too tight, we want to skip. Bring forward a little bit, and there we go, perfect stuff, looking good in the mirrors, and then we're going into here, this is our new um, straw facility, so we're just going to pull over let that car get past, we put a new gateway in just yesterday, got some like uh, a plank contractor to come and do that just to speed the job up, you can see from one of our last episodes we were actually in here uh, leveling out this and, and making this a bit of a hard pack really, a hard stand which seemingly has done the job. Let's see, we've brought a little bit more gravel in here since you were last here, but yeah, it's looking really good now. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna swing this down here. Yeah, I have the John Deere parked up because lo and behold, when I came down here, I had another brainwave. Uh, we're gonna let you know what that brainwave is in just a second, but we, uh, for the brainwave to work, we needed to bring the chainsaw down the other day, so we did that. Uh, we're kind of all, all up and working, so. Uh, let's just park you there. Perfect. Ah, uh, we'll kill the engine there. Take up our beacons. So, lots and lots to look into here. Uh, as you can see, we've created. We're still not quite finished, to be honest. There, I'm thinking to put a retaining wall in there just to stop this land from sliding at all. Uh, I'm also toying with the idea of trying to put maybe a little gateway through here. Might have to put a little bit of a viaduct in, a little bit of a, uh, a drain across the bottom there, but it makes sense to me to be able to pull straw straight out of this field ahead of us through this gap and into here. Uh, I don't know about you, but that makes pretty good sense for me. Uh, so that's something we might think about. We've got a little bit of a storage area here that we can back our trailers into. It gives a bit more space to turn wagons around as well, really. Uh, it's a big yard, but it's not that, that big. Uh, mainly because a lot of it's been taken up by this, frankly, monstrous um, storage barn. Uh, I had the option of getting one of these twice as wide. 
Uh, but I just physically couldn't fit it in, unfortunately. Uh, but as you can see, plenty of space for us to store absolutely everything. We'll never run out of storage space here, I can guarantee that one, uh, which is great. If we want to as well, we could also get what, uh, tip our Anderson Bale chasers upright uh, without any problems into here, which is something that is very appealing. Um, but the big deal is behind here, as you can see, the electricity board have been in, they've put in our original um, pylon with a substation on there and a few transformers. Our renewable heating plant is going to connect here uh, and it's going to connect into that transformer on there and then that, if I am right and listen to the engineer, is going to connect. There is one of these just over the road here, kind of behind those trees somewhere. There it is, you can just see it there. Uh, so it's going to connect into that and away to the grid it goes. So it's really all kind of coming along nicely. We're in a position now where we start the stack straw up. Uh, like I mentioned, this can also take wood chips, uh, so I'm half tempted I might get like a silo or something, to, or a shed I can tip wood tips into in there. That might be a good idea, but I do quite value it as storage space as well. Uh, I'm going to leave this here for now. Barry's going to come back and unload that in a second, get that put all nice and neatly into the shed. Uh, we need to go and have a rumble along, and this is where the second step of my recent plan came into fold. Uh, as you can see... There is a track through here now. Uh, this wasn't here recently. Whilst, we'll, whilst I was getting trigger happy with the uh, with the bulldozer the other day, we just thought we'd have a look in here. There was a bit of an old track in here, but never very good. So we widened it, uh, and then widen it. If we open this gate, uh, let's go. There we go. You can see that we kind of pushed the shrubbery to one side a little bit. It's a bit bumpy. Uh, no, no denying that. It is a bit of a mess, but it allows us to get through. Uh, and it means again for carting straw into here from these this block of land over here We can get into every single field, which is great And it's gonna really reduce the amount of time Otherwise we have to go through the village or down that narrow lane past that farm really which is not ideal uh, But that being said it's all done uh, So I'm just gonna wait for Barry to get down here I'm probably gonna take the straps off the truck right now I think and then once he's here and all set up we'll go and we're gonna get started with the combine and again Okay folks, straps are off, Barry's getting himself stuck in there, and we're going to get ourselves away, leave him to it. Probably in the realms of around a two minute drive through this uh, field, and through the track here. Now this, there is a section of this track that is exceedingly bumpy. So we're just going to jump on through, take it nice and easily. Uh, and then through we go. Now we have been selling this directly off at the moment, so there is about half a load in the back of the trailer still. Uh, we are tipping some of it into our stores and some of it went straight down to the uh, the grain mill, so down to the grain store. So this load we're probably going to fill up and then we're going to take down there as well. And this gets especially bumpy around about here, I do believe. So we're just going to ease through here. It's a little bit of a drop down. We need to kind of level that bit out at some stage, I think. And all right, and around we go. So like I say, we'll take this, we're going to fill this trailer up there, it won't take us too long to do, and then we're going to head off around to the, uh, let's go up there, around to the grain store with this load, uh, once we're there, we're laughing really, uh, forget that, that's better. So far so good, uh, this field's coming off very well, there's a fair bit of straw in here from what we've seen so far, uh, as you can see we've kind of got a little bit more than um, a third done, I would say, we're not quite a half but definitely more than a third. Took the headlands off and then got started just working our way through. Combine is up at the uh, far end there, so we'll just go and get ourselves. Uh, you can just see it there, we're just going to get ourselves all set up there, check it over, make sure it's all looking good, which it should be, because uh, it was just kind of greased up yesterday, so we don't need to worry too much about doing that. Uh, and uh, from then, we're kind of laughing really. We'll work through this this afternoon. Uh, it's a good, good uh, kind of uh, mild day actually. Um, sun's been shining all morning there, there was a little bit of mist on the ground this morning, a little bit of juice, we had a little late start, but now we're going, uh, we're looking great. What we will aim to do as well is get this finished today. Uh, we might knock out, bail out the headlands, oh, they might be good to go. We'll see how the rest of it's looking, see if it's fit enough to bail by the end, and then if it is, then great, we'll get that all done. If it needs a bit longer, then it's going to need a little bit longer, but we can find a way to leave that. Uh, so yeah, well, everything's looking good right now. I'm going to park this. Uh, up against the hedgerow on the track here. Uh, for now, it's just going to be me. Uh, we might leave Barry for a little bit longer card and straw uh, and we'll see how we go. We really do, we gotta get someone in just to uh, 
Trying to track the trailer, but never mind. We'll leave that there. Excellent stuff, and around we go. It's looking great parked up here on the hillside, it really does. So we'll just have a quick look around at the inspection before we go too far actually. It's not looking all too bad along the front there. Uh, everything else is looking pretty good from this perspective. Right then, excellent. Let's get ourselves in, we'll get everything unfolded here, we'll let it just tick over for a few minutes actually. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Okay. Excellent stuff. So we'd like to say, we're just going to let it tick over for a little while there, make sure it just gets a chance to get nice and warm through. Perfect. And if we look around the back there, I'll just press the button to unfold everything, so we should see a bit of daylight coming through the hopper, which we do. That's fantastic. Lift up the header as well. Oh, nice. And all we're going to do at this point is just slowly work our way forward here. Now, we're probably going to have to reset a GPS line into this, I'd imagine, so we can do that. Uh, other than that, whoa, kind of looking good and ready to go. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get ourselves into this. Now this is, like I said, this is wheat that's going away to be used for flour, which, <coughs> excuse me, will be eventually made into bread. Uh, it's probably, it will, it will be stayed in the UK as well, which is always nice, like to see that where possible. Fire in there. Beautiful. And yeah, so what will likely happen like I say, some of this we're, putting, we're selling directly now because we've got a good price for it. The rest of it we'll keep in for a little bit longer uh, as we kind of like a split contract for this right now. So uh, it allows us to do that, allows us to kind of get a pick and choose our market really. I think it's the best way to describe it. Uh, which in turn then makes it kind of the best benefit uh, for us. Now this is a variety of winter wheat called Skyfall. Uh, we've often used Skyfall actually as one of our, our go-to blends really, uh, or, or one of our go-to uh, varieties, uh, and it's done us well actually, uh, and since the first two times where, where we really benefited off it, I haven't wanted to change, it's been a very good variety for us, it's something that I think we'll definitely continue to use moving forward, uh, it works really well particularly when we get into these hills up here actually, where a lot of, as we get further towards that tree line you can just see to my uh, left there through the door, it gets very stony up that way, and the lighter ground just does really seem to thrive, uh, so that's really good. Uh, currently, this is we have a um, upwards of a seven crop crop rotation plan. So uh, seven every seven years, uh, you'll get back to winter wheat into here. So uh, that's what we're going to be sticking with here as well. So that's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, like I say, the combine right now is just flying through it. Really isn't showing any signs of issue. I wish I could find a good kind of 10 meter header, um, 9 meters is good, 13 meters that John Deere had in stock was a bit too big for me, uh, and this is just spot on really, but and it's flying through, absolutely flying, uh, so we'll continue anyway. Uh, straw wise, I'm so pleased that we have that gateway at the bottom now, uh, there is one more gate to go onto that which we haven't got yet, but we'll have to get that in sooner rather than later. Uh, but yeah, all of the straw here, you can imagine if that, if we didn't recreate that track through there, we'd have to run down, up through the main road there, uh, down through the village past the grain store and back along. So it, it would be about a 10 minute journey each way as opposed to a, a, a one minute trip. Uh, so if you factor that, uh, making that trip maybe uh, 10, 15, 20 times, it's going to add up. So yeah, that's good news that we don't have to think about that. And the diesel costs alone would have been astronomical for a tractor and a bale chaser on that one. Uh, otherwise though, everything else is rumbling along fine. You can see the dust is starting to come back off as well, which is great. Everything's feeding into the combine. The combine I feel like right now is very well dialed in. It really is just starting to ping along. Uh, so very happy about that. We're 
just kind of straightened out this field so we've got one long straight edge to work down now so in theory in about another maybe five uh, five passes uh, we'll be through the bulk of the, the the big field and then we'll start to get back down to the short lens because we are tackling this it's a funny shaped field so we're tackling it at a little bit of an angle uh, but other than that I cannot complain uh, beautiful day for it we're really starting to break through the back of harvest now which is good so we're going to continue with that uh, hopefully be able to get some more drilling done soon uh, but we've got a lot of crops to harvest before that we're trying to get some there's a few fields of second cut with silage we can do as well and I might get some silage bales uh, wrapped up and there's a nice little kind of storage pack behind this new shed we put in uh, I could look to just stick them all into there but we'll see that is the next step for now though like I say we're just going to keep rumbling along here uh, this field's going to keep me occupied for most of the day and once we're done we'll come uh, we'll let you join back up with us later later on down the week there where we'll have a few more updates hopefully have everything plugged in ready to roll as well um, and that'd be fantastic if we do that so look forward to seeing that like I say though for now we're just going to keep cracking along I uh, will let you know how we get on in due course but for now if you have enjoyed today's video do make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to simulation for the nation and also share the video if you have yet to do so and we will see you in the next one so until then thank you ever so much for watching Enjoy what you're doing as always, but most importantly, happy farming.